Blessed be God. We greet everyone who are here and those who are also connected with us through YouTube and our social medias. We greet you all with the peace of the Lord Jesus. And I invite all of you to be standing so that we can read the word of the Lord. And we're going to read in the book of John. The book of John chapter 2. John actually chapter 1 verse 46. John chapter 1 verse verse 46. The word is also projected up front. If you'd like to follow along, and the word of the Lord says, Disse-lhe Natanael, Pode vir alguma coisa boa de Nazaré? Disse-lhe Felipe, Vem e vê. Próximo versículo, Jesus viu Natanael vir ter com ele e disse dele, Eis aqui um verdadeiro israelita, em quem não há dolo. Disse-lhe Natanael, De onde me conheces tu? Jesus respondeu e disse-lhe, Antes que Filipe te chamasse, Te vi eu assentado tu debaixo da figueira. Louvado seja Deus. Santo Deus está com a palavra. Holy God, we have read your word. We ask that you can give us the revelation of your word. Put it in our hearts. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone may be seated. What an experience of salvation that is wonderful that we just read. How many of us has had an experience like this with Jesus where he called us by name, he knows our lives, and he reveals something that only we know or knew. And Jesus and God, he tells us that he knew us before we even knew him. What an experience is this that Nathaniel had with Jesus, with the Lord. This is an experience of salvation, of really, truly getting to know the Savior. And a lot of us, we have this experience with the Lord in his presence. When I was called by the Lord, I was at my mother-in-law's house. It's a very appropriate place, right? But at the house of my mother-in-law, I'll never forget it to this day because that day God called me by my name. God called me by my name. There, God, he made me know and he told me that he had already knew me before I even spoke to him. He already knew me before I even seeked him. He already had something to tell me. He already had a plan for me. Just like Jesus, he had a plan. He had something to do through Nathaniel's life. But this text that we read, Nathaniel in his in his little to no wisdom, you know, he he was something he was someone very intelligent. Um intelligent and in worldly things and and he knew about the words of the bible the old testament he knew um about jesus through conversation and through what people have said he knew about the things that miracle has operated but before he truly met jesus he still had little wisdom and he he told to philip he said has anything good ever come out of nazareth because Nazareth at the time, um, back then, it was a city that wasn't, it, it was, wasn't very good. It, sh it was left to the side. And it had a, a reputation. It was infamous for its lack of prosperity, for its lack of goods and wealth. It was a city that was small, um, attacked, little prosperity. And so uh, Nathaniel, he was he was shocked he said is was anything good can anything good come out of nazareth and one day we also said this to god we said god my heart is afflicted 
is there anything in this world that can help me? Is there anything in this world that could be good? Is there anything that while I'm here in this world that can help me and make me feel better? And Philip, he says something simple. He said, come and see. Brothers, while we are still here in this world, sisters, while we are still here in this world, we have the opportunity to seek this advice. Come and see. Because while we are here, Jesus, he gives us the opportunity daily and continually to know who came from Nazareth, Jesus. Who came from Nazareth? While we are here in this world, this word, this advice from Philip, come and see, it is presented to our hearts every day. I am afflicted. I am needy. I am lost. Can anything good come from this world still? But yeah, we could, it could come a savior, a redeemer, the Lord Jesus. He is present and he is presenting himself as our one and only sufficient savior tonight. Come and see. And Jesus, he, he saw Nathaniel. He went up to him and he said to him, he said, look how amazing this is. He said, you know, we were lost. We were walking. And one day, Jesus saw us first. He observed us while we were still at home, while we were still lost. He worked so that we would be here tonight. He operated because he saw us first. He saw our affliction, our necessity, our anguish. He saw our suffering. He knows about your ba battles at your workplace. He knows about your familial battles. He saw you. He sees you. He sees you first. And today, today he is here to meet all of your needs. And especially you who is visiting us tonight. Because Jesus, he showed tonight a woman who a woman who came to the house of the Lord but before she got here she had a great difficulty that she was going through it was a waterfall that was in front of her and this waterfall was with very strong waters and it had the voice of many many waters did lots of very loud waterfall and she she said um I'm already so afflicted with all of my difficulties and now there's this one too, this waterfall in front of me that I have to face. Can anything good come from Nazareth? My sister, this waterfall that you are seeing, spiritually speaking, it's the voice of many waters. It's the one who spoke to the servants in the past it's the voice who speaks to the uh, who spoke to the primitive church. It's the voice that spoke to Paul and Saul at the way of Damascus. This voice is the voice that when it speaks to us, there is nothing in this world that can muffle this voice. We won't be able to hear anything else. It's the voice of many waters. And this voice of many waters, it says, come under the waterfall. Go through the waterfall. And when she went by, and when she went through the waterfall, it was seen a, a water, uh, an operation of prosperity and of joy in her life. There was a people that was united, praising the Lord. This is to be in the presence of the Lord. It's a people that unites to glorify the Savior, that praises the Lord for His wonderful things that He's done in our lives and operates in our lives and Jesus showed that he is giving this woman the understanding necessary that she would be able to go through all of her battles because if you come here because if you came here to the house of the Lord tonight it's because the battles are great in this world there's a lot of battles we go through but the Lord has shown that the understanding that you need to win all of these battles is already in you and as you go through this waterfall, as you go through this veil, Jesus is going to give you this wisdom so that you can overcome all your battles. And do you know why? Because now He is going ahead of you. He is fighting for you. And in Jesus, we are more than victorious. He won, and in Him, we will also win. 
can anything good come from Nazareth? Come and see. Come and see. And so Jesus said, this is a real Israelite. And in him there is no deceit. Brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus has a plan of salvation for our lives, for the just and for the righteous, for those who are faithful, for those who are servants of the Lord, for those of you who visit us. The Lord has a promise of eternal life for all of us. And he has a promise of blessing for every one of us. Because we, not not because we deserve it, no, we don't deserve it, but it's because one day we went across the veil. Not because we found Jesus first, no, because Jesus saved us. He rescued us first. He called us by our name. And before, and Jesus says in the text, before Philip even called Nathaniel, Jesus already saw Nathaniel sitting under the fig tree. He saw him. He saw Nathaniel first. Jesus saw Nathaniel first, and Jesus sees us first. He knows us first. He's always known us. And just like um, Jesus told, uh, God told David before he was even formed in his mother's womb, God already has a plan of salvation for any one of us, for all of us. But you need to just do one thing, one only action that we must do. We have to go across this waterfall. We have to go across this veil. We have to hear the voice of the Lord and follow it. And and not be indifferent to the voice of the Lord. But hear from the Lord and take action to enter into his presence. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Come into his presence. This is our opportunity. Glory to God.
Hallelujah. And blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And um, just repeating the, the gift that the Lord has given. Uh, the vision was shown that this woman was going through multiple difficulties and now she sees in front of her a waterfall that was so big that it scared her. And thoughts started to come to her that were very negative and this waterfall it didn't allow her to hear anything else but the sound of the waters but a voice said to her and said a voice spoke to her and said don't fear come into the water and she would go into the water and she saw that there was refuge and the water had safety for her and it gave her protection and it gave her peace and it also helped her to solve all of the problems that she had. This waterfall that you see in front of you, it's not of a difficulty, it's a solution. And all you have to do is stay calm, have peace in your heart. All you have to do is go through the waters. Go past the veil. Go past the waterfall. Because Jesus, he will transform your life. The veil here speaks of a, a divisor. What you were before is not going to be what you will be after you meet the Lord and is in the presence of the Lord. He's going to transform your life. It's gonna be it's gonna be difficult, but God he's gonna give you peace. If you are sad, he's gonna give you joy. If you don't if you don't have security in your future, if you don't know what you are gonna do in this life, God will give you a direction. This is what God does for us every day. I invite everyone to be standing once more. We're gonna have a word of glorification to the name of our Lord. Lord God, we praise your name and we glorify you because your grace is enough for us lord we praise you because with your voice of many waters you have spoken to our hearts lord a lot have come to your many have come to your house it going through difficulties lord afflicted but we know that we have a god that takes care of our lives and you heal our of all of our wounds and you take away all of our pain and we praise you god for your love for your grace for the sustenance of God in our lives each and every day and for a church that marches towards eternity we praise you exalt your name because soon Maranatha will occur in our midst Lord we praise you for everything in Jesus name amen Lord God one more time we glorify your holy name we ask that you may receive in your altar Lord our praise and our adoration we pray in Jesus name amen everyone may be seated We still have an announcement here for the youth. There's going to be youth meeting upstairs. Let's go upstairs so that we can start the youth meeting for today. Okay. And those of you who visit us, if you want a prayer, if you want any clarification about anything that was said here, call us and uh, raise your hand. We will pray for you. Don't leave here without your blessing and the servants who are standing up here will have um, will have the pleasure of praying for you and helping you to all the peace of the Lord <laughs>